everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another One Minute Wisdom put on by Interchrome Dental Lab. Today, we're going to talk about a quick and easy way to facilitate a clinical remount. Um, we're about to host Dr. Jack Turbyfill here in the lab for another one of his world-renowned courses. And one of the things that is involved in his technique is several clinical remounts throughout the process. So sometimes people tend to shy away from remounting and making adjustments on an articulator in this fashion. But if you do it correctly, you're going to find um, that you'll, you'll come away with a very easy, reliable system if you have the right materials at hand. What we recommend is a firm lab putty. I like Trixa from Dentsply. It sets up really fast. Um, it's a two-part putty with a catalyst as well um, and your denture and then I'll show you how to mount that thing and you'll be up and making your adjustments in no time. So you want to start by having your materials. You're going to have your putty in one hand, your catalyst in the other and you want to put an even amount for the amount of putty that you're about to use. I used five scoops. We're going to use about five lines of catalyst. So when I'm looking at my putty and I'm about to shove it into the inside of this denture, I don't want to have any pink marbling left in it. I want it to all be one color. I'm going to firmly stick it up into the interior of the denture, working it in so that I get really good adaptation inside. And here's the key to making our clinical remount easy. Let's set it up so that we have success when we bring it to the articulator. We're going to push it down and we want excess putty to come out from around the denture because that's what our stone is going to grab onto when we go to remount it. A lot of clinicians sometimes will tend to shy away from clinical remounts because it's kind of cumbersome. Um, it's messy. You have stone. You're putting stone sometimes in a brand new denture. That's not fun. Um, other times maybe you have a sensitive hydrocast. You don't want to put stone right on a sensitive hydrocast. This is a very good alternative to using stone in that fashion. All right, once your putty has set up, begin by cutting off some of the excess around the outside, creating somewhat of a land area right here because here is where our plaster is going to overlap to hold our putty in place. If you take off too much, you're not gonna have a firm foundation that your stone or plaster, whatever you choose, will be able to grab onto. All right, so get yourself a quick setting type one stone or a quick setting plaster. You're gonna make a putty, uh, I'm sorry, a, a patty to start out with. As that starts to set up, take your denture with our putty, set it down on top of it, kind of squish it. And now we're going to encase that putty very quickly and gently with our stone so that it locks it in, it kind of registers the position in case it were to chip away. We're gonna know exactly where it goes back to and just gently flow the stone up over the side of your putty. And nine times out of 10, this won't move on you one bit. And then once it's set up, bring it over, give it a quick trim. For this example, we have just made an arbitrary bite with putty just for the sake of a demonstration, but take plaster, mount it like any normal case, plaster on the model, pin all the way down and pretty it up. And a few short minutes later, we've got a mounting that will withstand a little bit of abuse being opening and closing, checking our articulation, and rest assured this is a solid solid scenario. I'm trying very hard to get this denture off right here and it's on there. So this is a solid way, a consistent and reliable way that you can do your clinical remounts quickly, accurately, and be on your way. So even though that was a little bit more than one minute of wisdom, hopefully you got some good tips that you can use for your clinical remount from watching this video. If you would, please help us out. Uh, click like and subscribe to our channel so you can see upcoming vlogs. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks.